Yes, when you get to know of the brutality and horror experienced in these prisons, you'll never want to commit a crime, really. Welcome back to Rad History, where we bring you the most intriguing happenings in history. Today is no different. Throughout history, prisons have been used as a means of punishment, deterrence and rehabilitation. However, some prisons have gained notoriety for their brutality, inhumane conditions and the torture and abuse inflicted upon their inmates. So today, we will explore some of the most horrific prisons in history, from ancient times to the present day. Let's explore them. The Mamertine Prison, also known as the Tullianum, was a notorious prison in ancient Rome. It was built in the 7th century BC and was used to hold political prisoners, traitors and enemies of the state. The prison was located beneath the Capitoline Hill and consisted of two underground cells. The lower cell, known as the Tullianum, was the most infamous and was used for the most dangerous and high-profile prisoners. The cell was dark, damp and extremely cramped with no natural light or ventilation. Prisoners were lowered into the cell through a hole in the ceiling and left to rot in their own filth. The only source of water was a small stream that flowed through the cell, which was also used as a sewer. The Mamertine prison was used until the 6th century AD and is now a popular tourist attraction in Rome. The Tower of London is a medieval fortress located in London, England. It was built in the 11th century and was used as a royal palace, a prison, and a place of execution. The tower was notorious for its torture chambers, where prisoners were subjected to brutal and often deadly forms of torture. The most infamous torture device was the rack, which was used to stretch the limbs of the victim until they dislocated or tore from the body. Other forms of torture included the scavenger's daughter, the manacles, and the thumb screw. The Tower of London was also the site of numerous executions, including that of Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII, and Lady Jane Grey, who was queen for only nine days before being executed for treason. Today, the Tower of London is a popular tourist attraction and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Bastille was a fortress in Paris, France, built in the 14th century to protect the city from foreign invaders. However, it became a symbol of the tyranny of the French monarchy and was used as a prison for political dissidents, writers and intellectuals. The prison was notorious for its harsh conditions, with prisoners often being kept in dark, cramped cells with no natural light or ventilation. The Bastille was also infamous for its use of the Iron Mask, a form of punishment where a prisoner's head was encased in an iron mask, preventing them from speaking, seeing or hearing. The most famous prisoner of the Bastille was the writer and philosopher Voltaire, who was imprisoned there for nearly a year. The Bastille was stormed by the people of Paris on July the 14th, 1789, marking the beginning of the French Revolution. The Toll Slang Genocide Museum, also known as S21, is a former high school in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, that was used as a prison and torture center by the Khmer Rouge regime during the Cambodian genocide. The prison was used to hold political prisoners, intellectuals, and anyone deemed a threat to the regime. The prisoners were subjected to brutal forms of torture, including electric shocks, beating, and waterboarding. The Khmer Rouge kept detailed records of the prisoners, including photographs and confessions, which are now on display at the museum. Of the more than 14,000 people who were imprisoned at Tol Sleng, only 12 are known to have survived. The Tol Sleng Genocide Museum is now a popular tourist attraction and a reminder of the horrors of the Cambodian genocide. Hoa Lao Prison, also known as the Hanoi Hilton, was a prison in Hanoi, Vietnam, used by the North Vietnamese during the Vietnam War to hold American prisoners of war. The prison was notorious for its brutal treatment of prisoners who were subjected to torture, starvation and forced labor. The most infamous incident at Hoa Lao was the Hanoi March, where American prisoners were paraded through the streets of Hanoi and beaten by angry crowds. The prison was also known for its use of the tiger cages, where prisoners were locked in small cramped cages and subjected to extreme heat, cold and noise. The prison was closed in 1975 and is now a museum dedicated to the struggle for Vietnamese independence. Carandiru Penitentiary was a prison in Sao Paulo, Brazil, that was infamous for its overcrowding, violence and inhumane conditions. The prison was built in the 1950s to hold just over 4,000 inmates, but by the 1990s it was holding more than 8,000 prisoners, making it one of the most overcrowded prisons in the world. The conditions in the prison were horrific, 
with prisoners being forced to sleep on the floor and share cells with dozens of others. Violence was rampant, with gangs controlling much of the prison and committing acts of brutality against other inmates. In 1992, a riot broke out in the prison, which led to a brutal police crackdown. More than 100 prisoners were killed, with many being shot by police officers. The Karandiru Penitentiary was closed in 2002, and a new prison was built on the site. All these conditions show nothing but clear, horrific treatment a human would not want to experience. To make it all worse, there are prisons that house political prisoners. Watch till the end of this video to get informed. Abu Ghraib was a prison in Iraq that gained notoriety during the Iraq war for the torture and abuse of prisoners by US military personnel. The prison was used to hold suspected terrorists and insurgents. And the inmates were subjected to a range of brutal and degrading treatment, including beatings, sexual humiliation, and forced nudity. The abuse was documented in photographs which were later released to the public, causing a global outcry. The Abu Ghraib scandal led to the conviction of several US soldiers for crimes including torture and abuse. The prison was closed in 2014, and the site has since been turned into a museum. Kamiti Maximum Security Prison, located in Roy Sambu constituency, is widely considered to be the harshest prison in Kenya. The prison was constructed in 1954 during a state of emergency declared in October 1952 and was modeled after an old-style colonial system by the British. The prison still retains its original gallows, which have not been used for an execution since 1987. The prison is notoriously overcrowded, with reports suggesting that the number of inmates crammed inside ranges from 1,800 to 2,500, far beyond its official capacity of 1,200. The conditions inside the prison are unsanitary, and serious health conditions such as HIV and AIDS, gonorrhea, syphilis, tuberculosis and dysentery are rampant. Kamati Maximum Security Prison has gained notoriety for housing political prisoners and for being the site of executions by hanging. However, its reputation was further tarnished in 2008 when a riot broke out following a contraband search, which was captured on cell phone and shown on television. The prison garnered international attention once again in 2021, when three convicted terror suspects managed to escape. Seven wardens were later arrested for aiding in their escape. The conditions inside Kamati Maximum Security Prison are a clear violation of human rights, and steps need to be taken to improve the living conditions of the inmates. The overcrowded and unsanitary conditions pose a serious threat to the health and well-being of the prisoners, and the use of the original gallows is a stark reminder of the prison's brutal history. Camp 14, also known as Kachion, is a massive prison facility located in the center of North Korea, spanning 60 square miles, 155 square kilometers. According to reports by the U.S. Department of State, Camp 14 was constructed in 1959, about 40 miles, 64 kilometers, north of Pyongyang. The prison is primarily used to hold political prisoners and can accommodate up to 15,000 inmates who are serving life sentences for being enemies of the state. The conditions inside Camp 14 are notoriously brutal, with inmates routinely subjected to starvation, torture and forced labor in mining, textiles and farming. The prison operates under a policy known as three generations of punishment, which means that many prisoners are incarcerated merely for being related to someone suspected of a crime, and they are likely to die there without ever committing a crime themselves. The system is designed to put pressure on family members to obey the regime, and prevent any form of dissent. The conditions inside the prison are inhumane and the use of torture and starvation as a means of punishment is a clear violation of the UN Convention Against Torture. The prison operates outside any judicial oversight and the inmates have no access to legal representation or due process. The international community has repeatedly condemned the North Korean regime for its use of political prisons and the mistreatment of inmates. It is essential that the international community continues to put pressure on North Korea to dismantle its political prison system and to ensure that the human rights of all individuals are respected and protected. Gitarama Prison, located in Rwanda, is known for being the most overcrowded prison in the world. The facility was built to accommodate only 400 inmates, but it currently houses more than 7,000 prisoners. The majority of the inmates are suspects of the Rwandan genocide that took place in 1994. Due to the extreme overcrowding, the living conditions inside Gitarama prison are inhumane. The prisoners are forced to stand barefoot on the filthy ground for hours on end, causing their feet to rot. 
The lack of proper medical care and hygiene in the prison has resulted in many prisoners requiring amputations. And with only one full-time doctor dedicated to the prison, most prisoners are unable to receive the necessary treatment, resulting in half a dozen deaths each day. The conditions inside Gitarama prison are a clear violation of human rights. The extreme overcrowding, lack of access to medical care and unsanitary conditions pose a serious threat to the health and well-being of the prisoners. The use of the prison to hold suspects of the Rwandan genocide also raises questions about due process and the fair treatment of prisoners. It is essential that the authorities take steps to address the issues of overcrowding, lack of medical care and unsanitary conditions in Gitarama prison. The international community must also play a role in holding the Rwandan government accountable for its treatment of prisoners and ensuring that the human rights of all individuals are respected and protected. It's difficult to definitively say which prisons are the most horrific in the world. Prison conditions vary widely, and what is considered inhumane or horrific is subjective. However, these are some of the prisons that have been criticized for their poor conditions. So, in summary, while many prisons around the world have unacceptable conditions, those that are often characterized as the most horrific include political prisons known for brutality, inhumane treatment, starvation, executions and mass killings, severe overcrowding, and exposure to the elements, as with the Gitarama prison, also contribute to prisons being labeled as horrific. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get notified of new intriguing historical videos. You could leave in the comments section suggestions for historical events you'd like us to bring to you on our upcoming videos. Till next time.